Welcome back like, to an all new mating game. I'm Team Farts Mills. Of course, I'm paused. This is number 199, folks. Next week will be 200. Oh my. I think that Dicey Sim is going to do a poll on Twitty or Twitter. And you can vote on the Sims you would like to see for the 200th episode. I think it'd be very exciting, right, Fred? Let's go ahead and introduce our crew. Returning as Bachelorette, Nicole Hayes! Hello! A new Bachelorette! Santo Sweet! You mean Bachelor? I'm oh, sorry, Bachelor. Hello, everybody. Returning! Mr. Clean! Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean! Yeah! And, of course, in our third chair, as always, the incomparable... Hey, everybody. And don't forget butthole. Hey. You. Oh, Fred? Oh, you. He already introduced me. I know, but you're a butthole. Well. And, of course, on our camera is my best friend and cohort, Fred Cameraman. Hello, Fred. I'm lovely. How are you, Fred? I'm doing good. I'm excited for next week, too. Me, too, Fred. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started with our first question, shall we, Nicole? I remember Ed Polk mentioning a specific theme of question. Vote. Ghost related. I mean. Bachelor number one. Yes? Do you believe in ghosts? I do. I, I actually have seen them before, so yes, I do believe in ghosts. Hmm, I'm curious to know your stories. Bachelor number two. Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean. Yeah! Do you believe in ghosts? I do, actually. I must know what happened. I fought one once. Okay, I have to hear that story. Bachelor number th number three. Yes, honey. I can't talk anymore. Do you believe in ghosts? Of course I do. I play Phasmophobia. Shades hate me. I know. Bachelor number one. Yes. Well, when was the first time you had a ghost experience? I was 12 years old. I was staying at my grandmother's farm. And I was going to spend the weekend with her and my grandpa. I'm scared. Fred. Fred, why are you always scared? But anyway. I... We were actually... My mother, my grandmother's giving me a tarot card reading. She into a lot of stuff like that, you know, with like astrology and all that. And it said I was going to be visited by someone that was not from this world. I kind of laughed it off, and she looked at me very seriously and said, "Boy, you need to listen to the cards." So as I went to bed that night, about I was about half halfway asleep. And they say, no, this lady appears at the foot of my bed, and she's crying. I, I didn't know what to, what to say or think. I was a little bit a little bit scared, you know. I was only 12. But anyway, I asked her, I said, what's wrong, honey? Why are you crying? And she said that she had, she couldn't find her baby. It was missing. So I got up out of bed and I went and got my grandmother and I told her about the lady at the end of my bed. Well, she came in there and she moved her on to, so she could find her baby. So that was my first experience. Well, at least I had a happy ending. I think so. Bachelor number two. Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean. Yeah! What was your first ghost experience? I actually saw a genie come out of Mr. Clean bottle. You sure you didn't drink that shit and fucking imagine it? Maybe. I don't know. Anyway, it was a genie ghost that came out of the bottle of Mr. Clean, and it was singing and dancing on top of the lid. It was very odd. He's high on his own pubes. High on his own pubes? Pubes. Oh! Uh, uh, I was going to say, how do you hide his pubes? I don't know. I guess you need your crotch. <coughs> yeah. Bachelor number three. Uh -huh. When was your first ghost experience? 
Let's see here. Sa'id. Oh no, Phil excited. He, he's your enemy. He is. You know why? Because he fucking comes to my house. Plays with my damn computer. Fucking haunts every fucking thing and everything else. It pissed me the hell off. That was my first fucking experience with him. Bachelor number one. Yep. Yeah. What was the scariest ghost you've ever seen? Ooh. I was 16 about... Maybe about a month or two after I got my driver's license. My grandfather had... Me and him had built myself a car. And I was driving down the country road from their house going home one night. And I saw this black shadow looming out of the side of the road. It was just, it was just like, I don't know, kind of peeking around a tree. At first I thought it was just, you know, a flash of, like you think you see something but it's not really there. Yeah. The next thing I know, it's sitting on my dashboard and it opens his mouth and his teeth are like razor sharp. Uh oh. I almost wrecked my car. Ooh, scary. You think it was a demon? <clears throat> I don't know what it was, but I hope I, I never saw it again. Thank God. Bachelor number two. Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean, yeah. What was the scariest ghost you've ever seen? Well, let's see. About an hour after the genie quit dancing on top of the bottle of Mr. Clean, it got really huge. Its head was bent up in my ceiling. It loomed down, was about an inch away from my face, and spit on me fire. It burned my nose. Did you have any real ghost experiences? He did. Those are really ghost experiences. But you said you drink your Mr. Clean. I did. I don't anymore. Okay. Bachelor number three. Yes. What was the scariest ghost you've ever seen? That can break! The poltergeist! That motherfucker's mean or hell! Oh shit, fucking it, it go! I don't know what I'm saying, motherfucker, again! It was fucking on the damn ceiling. I told that story. It's fucking on the damn ceiling. I was dating that girl. Frank's mean. You don't want to tell you. You don't fucking mess with Frank. Bachelor number one. Yeah. Hmm, let me think for a minute here. Oh. Do you like to play Phasmophobia? I do enjoy it very much. Ooh. That's the number two. Do you like to play Phasmophobia? Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean. Yeah! Not really. It's scary. <clears throat> I tried to play it with um, Ronald Rumpus one night. We had a sleepover. I have, I have extra bedrooms. And he got drunk, and when we were playing, and all of a sudden, the shade, it, I think it bit my head off. Did Ronald Rumpus live? He did. Okay, I don't know how, if he was drunk. Don't ask me, he got out of the house and ran like a little baby. Bachelor number three, do you like to play Phasmophobia? Of course I do, you know that question. Bachelor number one. Yes. Which ghost do you get killed the most? <coughs> Actually. <coughs> excuse me. Um, <coughs> the ride juice hate me. They're fast. <coughs> yeah, you can't get away from them. Yes, yeah, if the electricity's on, they'll be overwhelmed with power and start hunting. Uh huh. They'll be aware of the power. We got the power! Ed. That's the number two. Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean! Yeah! Which ghost do you get killed the most by? The siege. The demons. <coughs> <clears throat> Goodness, this rain's who killing me. To, who convinced you to play the game again? <clears throat> Ed Poke. So the demons kill you the most? They did the other night. <laughs> yeah. They like four of them. It slaughtered me every time I walked in the house. What? Four 
at once? That's not possible. No, four different times. Oh, I was about to say. Ain't but fucking singing Mr. Clean the whole time on that damn microphone. Well, that's... It pissed him off. Um, demons can hunt even at 100 sanity, Mr. Clean. Ooh. It was meaner than hay on the cow. I believe it. Bachelor number three, which ghost do you get killed the most by? Shades. They just bad me. You remember you sung your shade song and said you made the shade mad. That piece in the hit, but I'm fucking loud anyway, so you know how it is. It's a shade, my lord, on a blue skateboard, slowing down so he can slay me. Come on, shady, please don't slay me. Even now. Bachelor number one. Yes. Which ghost type is your favorite? Ooh, the banshee. I love the screen. It's really cool. It is. Makes my like, goosebumps come up on my arms. Mr. Clean. Bachelor number two. Yes, Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean. Which ghost type is your favorite? Mmm. The say It's slow. I usually live when they're there. Are you sure when it when it when you first enter? Well, I have gotten killed by him a couple of times, and most of the time, if I be quiet like Ed tells me, they leave me alone. Um, I hate to tell you this, Mr. Clean. When you first enter the house, a fae can hunt like a demon. Who? Oh? If you're in the room of the fae for a long time, it'll become old. But whenever it's young, it'll hunt quick. Mm. And it's just as aggressive as a demon, so you might want to, I don't know, I guess, we'll, I guess we'll see if you change your mind on that in the future. Yeah, maybe. Bachelor number three. Uh-huh. Which ghost type is your favorite? Man? Yes. Do I have a favorite? I don't like any of them. They fucking kill me. Let me think for a sec. Fucking banshees are meaner than shit. I don't like that fucking bitch. <laughs> And fucking shades hate my fucking ass. The demons are fucking evil. There's three types of demons in that game. I know. Right, you? I'm gonna go with this fucking. I'm just gonna go with. I'm just gonna guess and go with the spirit. Yeah, the spirit's not really aggressive. Yeah, that's probably a good pick, then. It just gets aggressive if you're in there for a long time. Play market's open. Bachelor number one. Yes? Have you ever seen an orb? Uh, I have many times, actually. I'm guessing you have a gift. I actually have. I was in, um, a friend of mine's basement one time. We were playing video games. And all of a sudden, I looked over to the left, and there was, like, two blue orbs flying around the room. He didn't see them, but I did. Did you say anything or no? Well, I didn't want to scare him. I didn't know his house was haunted, but it was. But um, when we went to sleep that night, I went back down there just to see, and they were still floating around. I tried to talk to him, and they didn't say anything back. Eh, I guess, I guess they didn't want to say anything. I guess not. Bachelor number two. Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean. Yeah! Have you ever seen an orb? No. I never seen an orb. Except on the game. Well, yeah. I mean, I guess you can kind of count that. If you wanted to. Okay, then. I guess I have on the game. <laughs> Bachelor number three, have you ever seen an orb? You damn right I have. Fucking Frank's a big ass fucking orb. Motherfuckers. Bachelor number one. Yes. Have you ever been attacked by a ghost? No. That's a good thing. It is, and I don't want to be either. Some ghosts can be aggressive. Only on the game, of course, but yeah, not in real life. Bachelor number two. Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean, yeah. Have you ever been attacked by a ghost? On the game, I have tons of times. But you mentioned about fighting a ghost. Oh yeah, the genie, the mean genie. Alright, continue with that story. Well, actually, that genie sit there and put a fire on my nose. I had a, I had a burn pimple on there for like a month. 
I said, how dare you shoot your fire and burn up Mr. Mr. Clean's nose at the end. It looked like a, a, a witch's um, thingy on the end of my nose for about a month. And then, next thing you know, he elbows me in the chest. So, I took Mr. Clean and poured it down his throat. Oh my! Yeah, he was shooting lemon drops everywhere. Okay. It, it really made him mad, but you know, that's just the way it is. Bachelor number three, have you ever been attacked by a ghost? Hell yes, many times, hell! Fucking Frank, and I don't know who fucking the owl. My damn life is fucking something else, I have to say. I definitely agree with that. Bachelor number one. Yes. Have you seen a ghost on Halloween? Many times. That's when they're really out, you know. That's a time they can really come back to Earth and visit. I had my grandmother, um, Maple. That was her nickname. She was. They say she was sweet as, as syrup. She came back to me almost every Halloween and sat in my bedroom. We talked for a couple hours. It was really cool. I was a little kind of a young kid when she died, like about seven or eight years old. But she likes to chit chat. Very sweet lady. Bachelor number two. Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean, yeah. Have you seen a ghost on Halloween? Mm. I saw a clown. Okay. He was a six year old, lived down the street. His name was Billy Joe. Wait, how's that a ghost? It scared me. I thought he was real. <clears throat> That's not a ghost, I swear. I guess Mr. Clean doesn't have much ghost experience. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, no more! Ew! Where's my Mr. Clean? Bachelor number three. Uh -huh. Have you seen a ghost on Halloween? Of course I have. I remember seeing one when I was little Bowie. My grandmother took me out trick or treat and she told me to watch out, there's a little ghost kid over there with a bucket. I didn't believe her, and I went over there, and my hand went through his fucking damn body. I screamed, grabbed her damn skirt. She hugged me up. She said, honey, that boy ain't gonna hurt you. She said, he just wants candy. She said, here, I'm gonna give him some candy. He took a handful of my fucking bucket and put it in his damn ghost bucket. Weird thing, it didn't fall to the ground. Next thing I know, he's opening my fucking Snickers and eating it. I didn't like that kid very much. He fucking took candy. Wait, well, she took gave it to him. Still, I had candy missing name after that. All right, the Coco with your last question. Bachelor number one. Yes. What was your worst date ever? That included a ghost. Well, let's see here. Me and um. At the time, I was dating this girl named Sherry Crane. She was a very nice lady, actually. And we went to the movies one night to see Creature Feature. There was, like, three horror movies back-to-back. Some of the classics. I love classic horror movies. That's cool. But anyway, we were sitting there. There were several people in there at the time. And next thing I know, I hear crunching going on. I happened to look over to my right, and there said a man with, with like a 1900 suit on with a top hat. And he was eating a bucket of bones. Oh no. Oh, good lord. It's scary as hell. Anyway, I, I looked over at him, and he kind of looked over at me, and he smiled and went back to watching the movie. So... I thought, well, he seemed like a pretty good gentleman, you know. I didn't really think much of it. And next thing I know, my girlfriend, she, she screamed. I looked over, and there looked like there was bite marks in her arm. Oh, no. She started jumping around and acting crazy, and she wouldn't know where they came from. And I looked up, and that guy was gone from over there. So I told her that we would go ahead and just go ahead and leave and go home. That was creepier than hell. I think he actually tried to bite and eat her. 
Anyway, it wasn't long after that we broke up, so that's kind of sad, but she said she thought I attracted bad things. Well, that's not nice. Eh, it's just her feelings, I guess. Bachelor number two. Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean. Yeah. <laughs> what was your worst date ever that included a ghost? Ooh. Let's see. I haven't had any dates where ghosts showed up. Yeah, like I said, you don't have much ghost experience. I did not. I, I had a bad date with you, but it turned out we went out again and we had a great date, so I'm not even going to count any bad dates because I think it was just because I was being a little stickler for Mr. Clean and clean things, you know, all the time. And you weren't really having a good time, so it was all my fault. So I can't say I really had any bad dates. The only bad date I had was my fault, so yeah. Okay. Bachelor number three. Yes, Sam. What was your worst date ever that included a ghost? Well, I didn't know she was a ghost at the time. She seemed solid to me. Anyway, her name was Lynette Lightning. Lynette Lightning? That's what her name was. I thought it was a pretty cool name, actually. Anyway, well, she invited me out for dinner, you know, and I saw that stuff, and I thought it was kind of weird that she wasn't eating nothing, but she said she wasn't really that hungry. But I was fucking hungry, and hell, I was taking out on fucking ham sandwiches and shit. It wasn't really a great dinner, but it's always set my like, so I don't care, you know. I eat anything. Anyway, you know, we sitting there, and she talking a little bit, you know, and... <clears throat> She's always telling me she's having pain in her stomach and all. I said, well, I said, man, that's why you didn't want nothing to eat, you know. And they say I know she starts moving around her fucking chair and shit. Like, it's something hurting her on her butt or somewhere. I don't know what. Excuse me. So... You know, she says, you know, maybe maybe some sex would make me feel better. And I said, oh, it makes me feel better. So I said, are you sure you're up to it? She said, you're having belly pain and stuff. She said, yeah, I think I can handle it. I said, all right, then. She went back there in her bedroom, you know, got undressed, got in the bed, you know. And uh, I was playing around, you know, here and there and whatever. I reached down there around her private part. It felt the fucking spark. I pulled my hand away and I said, what the hell? You sitting there giggling and shit, I thought, well. Man, I just imagined it. You know, you can imagine stuff that happens like, it feels like something bitchy, but there ain't nothing there. Just saying, everybody has to go through it. It goes give me a strange look. <laughs> but anyway. I, I went ahead, you know, and I thought, well, I'm going to go ahead and just, just get this done. Anyway, I climbed down top and put my, you know, my thing in there. Got about halfway fucking in there, and I swear I felt the fucking lightning bolt. It was fucking, it, I thought that burnt, I felt like it burnt my fucking damn dick off. I pulled out of there and screamed like a damn banshee. Went running the fucking bathroom, turned the light on, and there was fucking little little sparks on it. It was sparking. Like I got struck by lightning. I stepped in the fucking shower, turned in a damn fucking water on, and, and was trying to cool it off. Next thing I know, she's in the fucking shower with me, and her whole fucking twat is lit up like fucking Fourth of July. It was booming, and and I swear it was playing, it was playing a fucking song. What song? Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light? It's that song, you know. Oh, uh, the Star Spangled Banner. Yes. I was waiting for flags to come out. I said, "What the fuck is going on with your damn BJ?" 
She said, it's a lightning twout. I said, a lightning twout? She said, yeah, that's why it's hurting. I gotta have sex, the fucking lightning has to get on there. Otherwise it hurts if I don't have sex. I said, motherfucker, you better fucking find you somebody else fucking twat, fucking spot their damn fucking dick and shit, cause I ain't dealing with it. I was trying to get out of the fucking shower, and the motherfucker's still fucking singing. Wait, how did you know she was a ghost? I'm getting to that part. Oh, go ahead. Anyway, the twat was singing, uh, bombs bursting in air, and we don't want to burn our twat hair. And I sit, I look down there, and next thing I know, it was see through. I said, holy shit. I just fucked a damn lightning ghost. Well, I almost fucked one. I had it in there. Right I guess you. it counts. I'm a guess I'm a guessing she was. Anyway, I fucking grabbed the damn town around that fucking damn house. I can still hear that fucking twat singing down the damn road when I was running. Why do I always have to run? I hate fucking running. I hate exercise. Do you know why? Because everything bad happens to you. You try to get away as fast as you can. I can only imagine when I heard the part that our flag was still there. Fucking flag flew out of that damn fucking twat and was waving in the wind. But I didn't see it because I wasn't in there. Anyway, that was my worst dates ever. That had Bob the ghost. Ed, your stories get more and more and more fucking outlandish. Right, Fred? Oh, God. Oh, that was a pretty damn cool story. That's a cool story, Ed. Ah, thank you, Santos. <laughs> Mr. Cleans is this scary. That's funny. Anyway, we'll be right back up this brief commercial, folks. Hang on, hell. All right, Nicole. That commercial was strange, wasn't it, Fred? Yeah, about fireworks. I know, it's not even close to the 4th of July. It's spring still, Fred. Anyway, Nicole's life at Bachelor number one. Bachelor number two. Hmm. Or Bachelor number three, Ed. I'm going to choose Bachelor number one. Cool. All right, Santos, come on out. I had a great time with you guys. I hope I come back sometime. Well, you might not want to say that. You might want to see if you work out with Nicole. Oh, that's true. I didn't think about that. Hi, I'm Santos. Hi, I'm Nicole. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Santos. Anywhere you want to go, uh, we'll go. What kind of mood are you in? Pizza? Spaghetti? What? Applebee's. Ah! Ooh, all you can eat ribs. I love all you can eat ribs. Me too. Uh, Fred, when you clean up this damn thing, it's all filthy and shit. May y'all have fun at Applebee's. Let's go here and talk to Mr. Clang. What the hell did you throw away, Nicole? I don't know. Anyway, I'm sure they have a great date. <laughs> I'm sure I'll say hi to you, Fred. Bye, everyone. Bye, honey. Have fun. <laughs> Stay tuned next week, folks, for the 200th episode of The Mating Game. I'm T. Bartsmills. Have a lovely weekend. Oh, yeah. Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean, yeah.